everyone, and welcome to the podcast of English composer Andrew Downs. My name is Paula Downs. I'm Andrew Downs' younger daughter, and on today's show, I'm delighted to present the Meridian Singers, a community choir I direct in Bluntisham, Cambridgeshire. I will be interviewing members of the choir, and we will be hearing them perform some works by Andrew Downs. The main message of today's show is to share our belief in the importance of singing. And if you happen to live in the Meridian Benefice and the surrounding regions, we welcome you to join the Meridian Singers. Without further ado, here are the Meridian Singers performing Andrew Down's uplifting arrangement of Vane Emanuel at their most recent Christmas concert in St Mary's Church, Bluntisham, accompanied by Hextora Brass Sextet and Olga Elborn on the organ. Thank you. 
If you would like to learn more about Andrew Downe's Vanier Manual, originally commissioned by the Choir of Hereford Cathedral in 1979, visit andrewdowns.com. You can also read an account of the premiere which actually coincided with my birth. This is written by Andrew's wife and publisher and my mum, Cynthia Downs. This is also at andrewdowns.com. I would now like to introduce you to some of the choir members of Meridian Singers. Here is Angie Wilson. Why did you join the Meridian Singers? Um, I had a little experience of singing in a choir in Cambridge with some friends and then that folded and then I saw a leaflet that they were starting a community choir locally so this is way back when it first began I was doing something else and there was a leaflet lying there and I thought ah oh, I miss the community spirit of singing with people, so I kind of joined in and I've been with it ever since. What do you like most about the choir? Um, I like singing in a group. Um, I, I mean, I enjoy singing anyway. I wouldn't really want to do solos, but I love hearing other people around me doing different parts and I like trying to get involved in that and trying to sort of do harmonies, which I'm not you know, terribly familiar with, but that's fun. I find that quite a challenge. Um, and also it's very sociable, yeah. And I, I just always feel uplifted when I go. It doesn't matter how grumpy or horrible the day has been. I'm always going back feeling much better. Because so. I think often in the day you're busy and you breathe very shallowly or, you know, you're not really thinking about breathing. And then you come to choir and you have to kind of make sure you've got breath. So suddenly you're beginning to think about breathing and taking deep breaths. And I think that helps actually to calm you know if you've had yes you've got scotch oxygen in the system so i think that uh, makes you feel much better when you come out you've actually you know, taken air in and given it out so yeah it feels much healthier I think. And how do you find andrew down's music to sing um different actually i mean i'm not a classical um scholar by any stretch of the imagination I, mean, I know a bit of classical music at home but it's lovely to sing something new and really rather nice to think you know you have a connection with the person who's written it through you um, so it's interesting as well it's very different sounds for me I mean I listen to a lot of jazz and folk so these are very different sort of chords and um, experiences so yeah it's been pretty, it's been fascinating actually uh, well I would just encourage people wherever they are to find out what their local community choir is I don't read music so never be put off about joining a choir if people are saying you know that it's not an audition or music reading it you can always learn a little bit more I now know where things go up and down and stop and start and go back so um, yes all, all are welcome so I would encourage people to do it 
And here are married couple Rob and Catherine Freak, who have joined the choir very recently. Since September, yep. same as me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So why did you join the Meridian Singers? To meet people locally, because we've both sung before. We've recently moved into the village here in Bluntisham, and we thought it was a good opportunity to meet some other local people who had a common interest. Great, and do you feel you've made friends through the choir? I yes. think we have. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we were surprised that many of the people, although the choir rehearses here in Bluntersham, actually come from the other local villages, so not many of them are quite as local as we'd hoped, but it's all close enough. Once you get to know it, all the villages are quite close, quite <laughs> close together, aren't they? What do you like most about the choir? Uh, the structure and the discipline. What you like, you like getting all your consonants together and that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> no, and, um, yeah, it's well organised, I like it. It's a good standard. Yes, I think uh, I think we've um, you know we've sung in things in the past where there was a, a certain degree of, of structure and organisation and a standard was w was aimed at. It wasn't just for fun; it was to achieve something that you could be proud of. Um, and I think we find that here. Excellent. I'm really glad about that. Um, and why do you like singing? Well, it's something that I've always done from a small child in the church choir. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. It's relaxing. Relaxing. Yeah. It's hard work, but yeah, it is relaxing. That's great. And what about you? I can't remember a time when I didn't sing Paula. Oh, lovely. Um, <laughs> it, one of the earliest memories I've got of my father was being in the car with him on a Saturday morning, going to do whatever errands we were doing and singing songs in the car with him. Oh, that's um, nice. On the next cathedral choral stuff. How and, are you? Uh, and sung all the way through, so just something I've always done. Which cathedral? Chelmsford. Lovely. Very nice. Um, and why is music good for us? I think it gives you a chance to express things that you find it difficult to perhaps to say for yourself, a chance to explore and show emotions that perhaps you have trouble displaying for yourself. Um, you can do it through music because sometimes you're not obviously telling your story you're supposedly telling someone else's but actually you put yourself into it and very often it's a way for people to show things that they find it difficult to show when they're just being themselves that's lovely great answer um and how do you find andrew down's music to sing i think it's i think it's quite often not particularly predictable um, so it takes a little bit of getting used to in any particular piece there's also quite a lot of variety so it's not some composers um, you know, perhaps, perhaps Lord Lloyd Webber might fit into this category you know up to a certain point you know once you've learnt a few of them you've sort of got a pretty good idea how they're all going to go yeah. I don't think you can say that about uh, about your father's music um, I think he keeps you guessing but once you've got <laughs> it yeah. because it's a bit different you've got it yeah. and, and it and it then makes sense in and of itself you don't get it confused with something else we will now hear Rob singing the solo part in Andrew Downs' song, What Shall I Do to Show How Much I Love Her? This was originally composed for a male vocal group that Andrew Downs himself sang in called Counterpoint, and they performed this work at his wedding to my mum Cynthia Downs in 1975. For the Meridian Singers, I have arranged this work for SSAB Choir with baritone soloist, string trio and piano. And here is the performance at our most recent concert with violinists Paul and Isabel Galuzzo, cellist Claire Stevenson and pianist Simon Kirk. Oh. 
To purchase any of the sheet music of the pieces you hear on this podcast, visit andrewdowns.com. And now back to our interviews. Here is alto Mary Slevin. I'm Mary Slevin, and I suppose I've been about six years with the singers now, yeah? And why did you join in the first place? <laughs> because I was frog marched into it. Oh, really? <laughs> a couple of uh, friends and neighbours uh, said, yeah, you've got to come and join, you've got to come and join. So, so, but, you know, I'm not a good singer, so I, I really needed to That's have a push. <laughs> have you enjoyed the last six years? You've oh, yes, absolutely, you. yes. You know, it's been really good to learn and to progress and to, to really handle much more difficult um, uh, musical items and things. And, uh, yeah, no, it, it's been... A real eye up, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Really? You know, your style is to be very encouraging, and uh, I think that's been, you know, a, a tremendous um, step forward, really. And so, yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. And, and how do you find performing the music of Andrew Dance? I'm really in, enjoying it a lot because it, it actually reminds me of many, many years ago when, uh, you know, I was at boarding school, convent, Catholic convent. School, school was on one side of the road, church on the other side of the road, and we were always the choir for the church. And so we sang a lot of plain chant and stuff like that. Oh, and so, see, right. so it reminds me of that. Oh, yes. That's very interesting. <laughs> and now to soprano, Ros Berry. My name is Ros Berry, and I've really enjoyed being in the Meridian Singers for about seven years. The Meridian Choir encompasses every age group, experience and background with our musical director, Paula Downs, brings a sense of fun while supporting us. And after just five minutes of singing, the stresses of the day disappear. A really good feeling. And where words fail, music speaks. I really enjoy singing Andrew Downs music with its amazing harmonies. The Gloria, um, its breathtaking beauty just transports you to a heavenly place. The anthem, I was glad, has some exciting organ accompaniment um, which just lifts the spirit. The Holy Communion is set at a pitch which all members of the congregation can sing and praise God. I will now play you the Gloria that Ros was talking about from Andrew Downs' Holy Communion, a setting for church congregation with organ, which is also sold as Mass for Trebles at andrewdowns.com. This is the Meridian Singers with Simon Kirk on the organ.
And here is Brian Thomas, a bass in the Meridian Singers. My name is Brian Thomas and I've been in the Meridian Singers for just two years. Because I, I only moved to the area two years ago. Previously I lived for over 30 years in Chelmsford and I was for over 20 years a member of the Chelmsford Male Voice Choir. Right. So Lovely. I'd never sang wow. with a mixed choir before. Okay, so why did you join the Meridian Singers? The main reason was it was local for me. I don't like driving at night. And uh, it was there down the road. It's uh, even closer now in the Baptist Church. <coughs> and um, have you enjoyed singing with the Meridian Very much singers? so, because I'm singing a different style of music. The, the advantage for me at my age, I'm 84. Wow. And with male voice choirs, you had to learn the music. You sang without copies, you sang in the Albert Hall, 19 pieces of music without, wow. without a copy in sight. That was with a choir of 700 men, mind, so I needed a little bit of help. So the fact that we've got copies, right. and I probably look at you more than a lot of them because we were used to that because we didn't have yes, anything see. there yet. So, I mean, it, it, it helps by quite a bit. And the fact that of late you put everything on the internet, our parts, and again, that was something reflected back to, to Mill Voice Choirs. They, our MD always did that, and when we sang at the Albert Hall, the London Welsh people did that, so you could practice your own part at home, which was a big advantage. Why do you like singing? I've always enjoyed singing. I didn't join a choir until I was 60, that's when I retired. The reason for that was I was an inspector of school, so I had a lot of evening work and I couldn't commit myself. So. It was as simple as that. We very much enjoy what you do. I mean, if I, if I were going back to putting my Ofsted hat on, I would say that your, your, your choir rehearsals are outstanding. Oh. You've got a warm empathy with people, and that helps. As I said, I commented to someone before, you can tell us off in a nice way. Oh. You do, and it, and it makes a difference. Oh, that's lovely of you to say. Um, and my final question, how do you find performing the music of Andrew Downs? I'm very much enjoyed because I'd never sung church music before. Oh, right. I say church because uh, <laughs> I would call it chapel music, the hymn tunes that are, yeah. are a, a big part of a male voice choir a repertoire. But I've never sang church music of this kind before. I very much enjoy it. Lovely. And I'm, I'm very proud of you to think that you are pushing your father's music and keeping it to the fore because it's something well worth doing and you, you obviously enjoy it. I do, I the, do. The pity really is nice he can't come and hear it. No, I know, yeah. it's a massive yeah. The last recording I will play you of the Meridian singers performing the music of Andrew Downs is their rousing performance of his anthem, I Was Glad, with Simon Kirk on the organ at their most recent concert. They were also boosted by Paul and Isabel Galazzo on the violins and Claire Stevenson on the cello.
that anthem, I Was Glad, can be heard on the CD, The Lord Is My Shepherd, performed by the Royal Holloway Chapel Choir under Lionel Pike. And this CD is available at andrewdowns.com, as are the WAV and MP3 files. We now have three choir members, Chairman Anne Lawman, interviewing soprano Wendy Scotes and alto Margaret Wheeler. Wendy, yes. <laughs> you joined the Meridian Singers when I did, didn't you? Back in the very beginning. beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Approximately eight years ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when Rachel was in charge. And when did you come, Margaret? I can't remember. I came uh, about six years ago. Rachel was still in charge, but not for very much longer. Yeah. But I've done six years. I think I introduced you. Yes, I? you did. I came to a concert and I thought, yes, this is the way to get back into singing. I enjoyed the songs and it was... Yeah, yeah. never looked back really. Yeah. And where did you come? Well, I came really because my husband's ill and I thought I just wanted a couple of hours to myself. You know, a bit of me time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it's much the same for me, really, I think. I'd always enjoyed singing when I was at school, and I hadn't sung, really, since since that school time. So because there was no audition, which really was yeah. the thing, I think if somebody had asked me to stand up and sing, I'd have thought, oh, no, I don't think I'll go. Um, but it was quite friendly, quite open, and, you know, and people just came and made friends very quickly. So I was happy to come and start singing again. Yeah. So that was really good. Good. Yeah. What do you like most? Um, I like the feeling of friendship and the. Well, I just love singing anyway. I mean, I'm not. I can't read music. Um, no. I just have to try and follow the notes. Yeah. If I get the right one to start with. <laughs> I'm a bit like that because I don't read music either. As long as somebody hits the the key that I'm supposed to be in and the note I'm supposed to be in, then I know whether I've got to go up or down. <laughs> I just think we're yes. Yeah, we are, we are. And what's lovely is that there are people who do read the music. And what I found is really helpful for me, especially for you, Margaret, because you're very good at reading music and, and that's been really helpful, is that the people who do read music have helped the people who don't. Um, and that's been fantastic. So, you know. But having said that, I, mean, I haven't been in a choir from the day I got married, probably, because I was in all the choirs at, church, at school and at church. Then you get married, and I, I did nothing for about 40 years. And suddenly you're back in a choir, and you find you can sing again, you can read music again. And like you say, everybody helps each other yeah. out. It doesn't matter if you go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But, um, it's just this, this feeling of friendship and having an enjoyable time, enjoying music again, yeah. which you never thought you'd never thought I'd ever do no. again. And I and I must admit, and I, I think I've said this before, that on the evening that we do have choir practice, I sleep the best sleep in the whole week. I do. I go home and I just collapse into bed and fall asleep. And I just think it's because it takes you out of whatever's going on in the day and just you know takes you somewhere else. Um, and we concentrate on music, so you're not thinking about anything else that's going on in your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. You can. You can totally block out. I, I have said, and I know a lot of other people have said in the choir, they won't give up a Wednesday night choir practice, no. but they, they would be prepared to give up other evenings, and the, the, the kind of hobbies that they have, but you can't, you can't intrude on a Wednesday night no. choir practice, you know, unless it's really necessary, you know. So that says a lot, doesn't it? It does. It does. It does. It does. To end our show, I am going to try to tempt you along to either sing with the Meridian Singers or to come to their next concert on July the 13th at 7pm at Bluntisham Baptist Church, Bluntisham, Cambridgeshire, with a song that we will be learning. The theme will be holidays, and this song, Barcelona, is from Andrew Downs' Songs of the Skies.
To find out more about the Meridian Singers, visit www.meridiansingers.org.uk or visit Meridian Singers on Facebook.